everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl Tanika Dion all right now you may hear a bit of an echo type of sound um, I'm not sure because of course you know haven't played it back yet but um, I am in my bathroom this morning because as you can tell by the title I'm going to be doing a um, sort of a like what I do to um, prep my skin before I put on my makeup so you know washing my face and putting on all my skincare um, before I put on my makeup so I decided to go ahead and do it in the bathroom because a majority of it is in the bathroom so um, I hope it's not going to be too bad. Now, um, I do have my hanging fixture lights right here. I don't know if you can see because I have the setup in here to try to get the camera was crazy because I just have uh, like a tape hey, girl. It's y'all, it's crazy. But anyway, so I do have these lights. I did have them on, but I, it, I, the lights, it made the lighting horrible. And see how that, I mean, it's the light, but. It's, it's, no, it's, it's nice lighting, you know, when I'm in here, not filming, but since I'm filming, the light kind of looked too weird. I don't know. So I decided to turn off my bathroom lights and bring in my ring light here just to, you know, make it a little better. So, you know, I would never use a ring light to get ready in the morning because I like the way these lights are, you know, when I'm not filming. So, whatever. <coughs> anyway, so. Um, if you like to know what I do to prep my skin before I put on my makeup, then please continue to watch. Alrighty, you guys. So you may see me turning this way a lot, and I'm sorry about that because I do have to face the sink and uh, the mirror. I could use a viewfinder too, but mainly it's because of the sink. Okay. So now the first thing, you know, I've already um, brushed my teeth and um, washed up a bit uh, so that I could do the video. But normally, I when I wake straight up uh, or wake up, uh, first thing I do is put on my Apple Watch because. Anybody that wears an Apple Watch, you know, you're trying to get those 12 hours in for your stand goal. You know what I'm saying? So, anywho, so first thing I do is wake up, put on my watch, and I come in here, brush my teeth, and I do wash up a bit because um, I go upstairs. After I wash up, I go upstairs, turn on the Keurig, make my coffee, and have a bagel, and then I watch a little bit of TV, and then you know um clean up the kitchen if there's anything left from last night because sometimes i don't always do the dishes every night it is what it is well I'll put them in the dishwasher even though i have a dishwasher um you know i still may not do that at night i do it in the morning but whatever so yeah then i do that and then after i do all of that upstairs then i come back take a shower and then i do my facial stuff in my makeup room so yeah that's how it works but anyway excuse me so the first thing we're going to do here, um, like I said, I did already brush my teeth, so don't think I'm skipping over that stuff. I already did that. So, you know, nobody needs to see that. So, first thing, I'm just going to turn on the water here. So, if it sounds, you know, a little, you can't hear, I'll try to speak up a little bit, but I don't want to be yelling. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, let's going to let this get a little bit warm here. Yeah. So how's everybody doing this morning, y'all? It is a nice Sunday morning, and um, yeah, I am not going to church this morning. I did go last week and the week before. I don't go every single Sunday. I try to get at least two Sundays out of a month out, you know, so we'll see. But tonight, I mean, today I'm not going to go, but anywho, all right, so that's nice and warm. And so, first thing I do is wet my face. All right, and then I take my um, my PMD clean machine here, which I super, super love, which we'll be talking about this in a few. I take this and I put some of my cleanser that I'm using for the day, and this one is, I'm gonna be using this one today. Can you see that? Is the camera picking that up? Yeah, I'm gonna be using the Revita Lift Bright Reveal Brightening Daily um, Scrub Cleanser. And so I just put some of that on here, just like a dime size amount. And then I turn, push this button here because it has four um, speeds and I usually use two. The first two speeds are for um, cleansing and exfoliating and then the other two are for this side here, which we'll talk about later, but yeah. And then I just take and rub this all over. 
I know this seems like a little TMI, don't it, y'all? I'm all up close personal. Up close and personal with y'all with my skin and stuff. But, you know, it's my skin. I can't do nothing about it. It's what God gave me, and I'm happy to have it. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. So, all of us can have that beauty, beautiful skin, you know. But, it's all good. I learned to live with these imperfections so it's all good and i don't mind one bit happy to be here happy to be alive and healthy y'all that is what it's about anywho uh yeah so yeah i just take and run my pmd clean all over my face you know for about a minute i don't do it too long especially on the days that i have not worn makeup i don't do it as long like when i do wear makeup on that day before uh, like the day before and then in the morning when I wake up after I had did all my night stuff I still use I probably let this run over my skin for maybe about a minute and a half to two minutes because I just feel like you know it may be still something left on my face although it's not because you know I did all that cleansing the night before but I did not wear makeup yesterday at all so you know I don't really have to go in and do a deep deep clean you know so yeah I don't know if you guys can hear this vibrating you hear that But yeah, it vibrates. Let you know it's getting deep, deep, deep clean, baby. So. Yeah, so that's been about a minute there. I do take it on my eyes sometimes with the cleanser on it. I don't know. I just like to clean everything, you know. All right, so that's about enough of that. Then I just turn this off, see, has a little light. That's how you know that it's on. Then I just and turn this back on and rinse this off. Then I just take my towel, pat dry. And I just pat dry my face. And also, as you saw by the title, you guys, um, this is going to be a drugstore or affordable, I guess you can say affordable slash drugstore type of skincare uh, routine. I am going to be doing another one probably in the next month or so using my high-end um, skincare stuff but uh, for this video is strictly drugstore and affordable products as well as acne prone because I'm having some breakouts like around here because I've been wearing that MAC foundation and like I told you guys MAC breaks me out so um oh shoot dang ring light almost fell over y'all <laughs> ring light fell over because I got this stuff set up on a table instead of okay anywho <laughs> um but yeah, so yeah, and it's also, uh, like I said, I got little breakouts over here, so I'm trying to take care of those. But they're actually all cleaned up my face. It's actually looking pretty freaking good, y'all. Pretty freaking good. So anywho, uh, after I do that, you see how I got a lot of soap left over? Uh, usually I take, in, take a little bit of my um, uh, ivory soap here, and I run this across this because it's dirty, you know? So I take, and take a little bit of soap, and I clean this off before I do anything. I just take a little bit of soap on my hands like this and I just rub this to clean it really good and rinse that off because I have to use because we're going to be using it again you know so I like to have it clean because I'm going to be using it again for different parts of this uh, face um, or get ready with me. Um, so all right and then the next thing that I do is I go back in with more water, even though I dried it, I go back in with more water. Let me warm it up. So I'm gonna go back in and re-wet my face. But this time I'm only gonna be re-wet my face like around here, the cheek areas where the acne is. So, yeah, like all up in here and here. 
and then the next thing I do is I'm going to be taking this clear seal stubborn acne control five in one minute mask uh, fights five stubborn acne problems this is what it looks like and it's basically just a mask like a little clay mask and I just take a little and I only put this in the spots where there's uh, uh, some acne and um, you know and because you got to let it sit it's for one minute you're supposed to let it sit for one minute and see sometimes just trying to feel just a little bit but not really nothing uh, down there but I usually try to because you know this not only uh, helps to take away the ones you have but it prevents as well so this is mainly where I get most of my breakouts is all around this area so for some reason I do get like one up here but usually it's down here so yeah and then you just rub this in and then you just let it sit for a minute I'm just gonna wash my hands all right you guys so this is what it looks like after about a little over a minute sort of dried up a bit and yes yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off after that I go ahead and tone and I'm gonna take one of these cure cotton rounds that I got just from the dollar store these are a dollar and they work just fine because all I need is like little cotton rounds they're almost out going to the dollar store later on today anyway so I'll probably pick up some more but yeah just a basic um, cotton round to me it doesn't have to be expensive because all you're doing is using it to tone at least that's all I'm using it for so yeah and for my toner I am using the Olay cleanse toner with witch hazel one of my faves one of my fave cleansers y'all and so then I just put some on the little cotton pad I usually take just three little and look at this I'm almost done <laughs> I'll be going to Walmart today too I'll be picking up some more of this but actually I don't know I might not be picking it up because like I said um, this is almost gone so I'm about to start with my high end um, using all that stuff I've been getting in my uh, subscription boxes like my um, boxy charm skincare which I have not used one single product in there and when did we get that like two months ago I haven't used one single product although I was supposed to use it so many times but I didn't so I've just been sticking with my drugstore I really like the drugstore stuff it works so well it really does but yeah once this is done I probably don't get enough well I still probably get another one I just won't need it like until I get done with the high-end stuff so yeah and this is what's you know left after you clean your face see still have some stuff up on there and so that away okay and then while that's getting a little bit because you know you had that little not tingle but that cooling sensation once you um use the toner so I usually have a little cooling and i just dry it for a bit you guys just dry 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 mm -hmm. dry i have moles you guys you see like mold but other than that if you can see underneath the moles my skin is not that bad you know it's really not that bad and once you can see underneath these hereditary moles that I had inherited which is okay because I love all my ladies and my family my aunts and uncles and uh, my grandmothers um, who passed away God rest their souls you know um, all my people's love so but yeah I just inherit them it is what it is so but yeah under that it's not that bad I'm sorry if I'm all up in your grill y'all I am so sorry I'm just looking but anyway okay since that has dried now then what I do is I take this 100% um, cocoa butter in the stick y'all remember this y'all grandma and uh, aunts and you know them old school people used to use these your, your, your old school family even some men it's just a stick looks like this that cocoa butter y'all and then I just take squeeze it to hold it and then I actually just put some all over just you know rub it a little bit try to keep my uh, my complexion you know what I'm saying keep it you know try to even it as much as possible or keep it try to you know so that's all and then just rub this all over a bit this does wonders y'all it really does it may not seem like it but for me this is a great product and then I even also put some over my eyelids don't want to leave that out and yeah about that much shoot excuse me and then I just take and pat it in a bit 
not really rub just pat okay you guys and that is all that i do in the bathroom and i will see you over in the makeup room guys the next thing that I do is I do my lip scrub and I actually just use this um, lip exfoliator brush thingy that I got from Amazon this one is blush blush lips I believe it's like seven eight dollars and it looks like this and this side right here with the little bubble type lips this is for um, bringing uh, blood circulation to your lips to help plump them up and this side right here with the teeth see that this is for exfoliating the lips so I'm going to take my exfoliator side and I'm going to take my ColourPop lippy scrub in razzle dazzle and open this up and looks like this and just dip the side with the teeth I just dip it right in there and get about this much and then we just go to work wipe it off you know sometimes if i have a wet cloth in here i use that but generally i just take a wet makeup um wipe and then you just wipe away the ex excess because like i said it doesn't taste all that great so i don't lick it Yeah, and then I just use this little towel that I have here, and I just, this is a dry towel, and then just make sure it's dry. All right, and and then the next thing I do, excuse me, is I take my ColourPop Lippy Balm also um, in Razzle Dazzle. Just like the lip scrub was razzle dazzle, so is the lip balm. And you can see I've been using the hell out of this, y'all. I need to order some more. And yeah, and then I just put this on. And I use hell a lot too, y'all. I use hell of a lot. That's why it's going so quick, but whatever. I have so many lip balms, but I do like this one because this one is really, really thick. But it's so glossy and it lasts so long. All this stuff lasts so long. When I do this right before I put on my makeup, not, not right before, but when I start my makeup, it'll still be on. Sometimes I have to wipe it off because it's still so moist. But yeah. What I do is I take my Pond's uh, correct, uh, what is it, Clarin B3 Dark Spot Correcting Cream. Y'all, y'all, y'all can't sleep on Pond's. I've been using this stuff for so long. Now, this one right here, I've actually been using for about two months. Um, I usually have the um, dry skin one. It's in the blue. And that's the one I've been using like for a long time. I mean, years. I won't say years, plural, but for a long time. Had every bit of like... 10, 11, maybe, probably, it may be a year, but not years, but a year. And then um, I saw this one uh, in the Walmart when I was there, like I said, about two months ago. And um, I decided to try because it was dark spot. But yeah, again, this is uh, what it looks like. Did I show you? Yeah, just the Pond's dark spot. And this is what I use. This is what I'm using um, today. And yeah, just regular white cream that's okay and so what I generally do with this um, I take put my finger in here and from the back of my nail and then here's where we're going back in with my PMD uh, clean see this side like I said before this is to clean and exfoliate and then this side is to um, put on your serums and moisturizer so I take it on this side and I just put this on there uh, I could put it on my face too which I do sometimes which left over um, on my nail and uh, I have about this much on there and then I go back to the setting which like I said setting one and two is for the um, 
cleansing and exfoliating and uh, the speeds three and four are for this side now for the cleansing side I use speed two because I just like the way it just and it really soaks in your product when you're watching your face and then on this side I use um, four because it's like the it's pulsates and it's like and it really oh it soaks in so I love this machine you guys love this machine I have my Clarisonic Mia 2 in my bathroom as well as my uh, Foreo Luna I believe that's what it's called I used both of those for years now those are way more expensive than this this was only $99 but I had a coupon so it was $79 and yeah this thing is amazing and I love it love it love it I have not used my other two um in like a month and a half since I had this but yeah this I love so I'm going to go ahead and turn this on I'm going to put it on the fourth one. One, two, three four and you can tell because it's lit up and then can you see it shaking I know you can't see that but anyway and so then I just like to just put I didn't mean to put that there on my lips ew but uh yeah and I, yeah I do go heavy on the uh, moisturizer I just I don't know I do because my skin is so dry so I definitely am heavy-handed with moisturizer now when I'm doing it at night, at night I use serum as well as moisturizer, but uh, right now I'm just using moisturizer because of my skin right now. I don't want to do too many products because I'm not trying to, you know, re-irritate my skin because it's doing really good. So right now I'm only, like I said, I, I still don't do too many steps, you guys. I do not do too many steps. Um, just about done yep that see it soaked it all up in there y'all this thing is amazing <gasps> excuse me I don't know why I got the hiccups and whatever I'm going on but anyway so that's about done there so I'll just turn this off and just to pat it in oh you guys it feels so soft and delicious I don't know why I said delicious but <laughs> it feels so good and soft and yeah just like to pat it in a bit more that's all all right and that is that all right and the next thing that i use is the clean and clear advantage acne spot treatment uh this has salicylic salicylic acid um in it it's oil free 100 percent uh of the people showed clear skin in just one day and it doesn't over dry I saw this on Jackie Natural. Someone had recommended it to her and she used it. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up as well. And I've been using it and I do like it. It really is working. And I take, I don't know if you can see that, but that's like a teeny bit of a, come on. Why is this camera not focusing today? Okay, that little bit right there. And then I just put that on this area right here. Because this is the only place that I have it. I don't really have it anywhere else right now so just right here in this one area and it's just like one little bump but you know i spread it out right there that's all i have is one little bump right now because the rest went away i had like one two three and then i had like a little bit under here again it's from wearing that mac foundation but you know now that i have this and I, i've really been focusing on the acne per se in my skincare it's, it's good it's good and then after I use that then I go in with my L'Oreal Revita Lift um, eye cream this stuff is bomb.com I'm almost well I've been using this for a while look at that this stuff is amazing and I just take my back of my nail here and put some under there and there and then I just put just a bit on the tops of my eyelids like that and um, then I take my elf wand here this has a top on it but I take my elf eye wand it's white elf eye wand and this helps to soak in moisturizers um, 
under your eyes as well as depuff your eyes so just put your finger on this little silver line right here can you see the silver line and then just go to work and it does heat up after a few seconds and then you can really feel it soaking in <laughs> really soaking in i've been using this for almost two years now like as soon as they had this i purchased it i was in love instantly and i believe it's been about two years like as soon as they debuted this i was there well not there i ordered it and yeah you can feel this thing getting on i like to work one eye at a time because i like to feel that heat it feels so good you guys and then bring it down and let that thing do its work deep puff deep puff and soak that moisturizer in yes you guys oh yes that heat feels so good y'all i'm sorry sounding kind of crazy ain't i sorry all right let's do this side and this elf one was 25 dollars uh, that was when it came, first came out i don't know you know if it went down and i may still be i haven't you know looked for it or anything but um, it was $25 when I got it. to get rid of those crow's feet and I don't but I don't really have crow's feet and I don't even know why I just said that because I don't even know if this does anything for that but I don't have crow's feet like that so you know but this feels good bottom line so all right and that's about it on that <sighs> you just don't be wanting to take that off and then you just want to you know do a little bit more just to feels so soft and delicious I clean all those products up and then you guys the very last step that I do before I get ready to go into my makeup routine is I will take either my CEO glow uh, with vitamin C and turmeric face oil by Sunday Riley which was in I believe this was in my very first allure box I believe I'm not sure which was back in December I believe this was in there I'm not sure or I will use my fourth ray glow up face oil that I purchased myself on ColourPop.com for $10. Um, so yeah, I will use either one of these because they both help with glow. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to use the fourth ray today. And yeah, this is the last step. And then I just take and shake some in my hand because it has this little, I don't know what kind of spout that is, a little hole. <laughs> is it going to show? Come on okay yeah it has a little spout type thing there and so I just pour some in my hand and warm it up in my hands just warm it up and then just put this all over my face I have this dry skin you guys know that this oil will be soaked up so fast though all right okay and that is everything that I do at the moment to prepare myself before I get into the makeup and yeah if you have any questions just put them down below um, I will list the products that I use I will put that in the description box and um, yeah and if you have not done so already please hit that subscribe button the notification bell like and comment and I really 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 appreciate each and every one of you thank you have a good day bye